Next one, would you or is it advisable to buy on leased land or trailer parks, mobile homes to rent? So a couple questions there. I'll start with the leased land. Basically, the way leased land works is you're, you're buying an income stream. You're buying a structure, you're renting it out, but you don't own the dirt, you don't own the soil. You have a lease for 15, 20, 25 years. At the end of that lease, the landlord, whoever owns the land, can come in and they can choose to release to you or not. It's not extremely common with leased land, but it does happen. Uh, here, here's how to handle this situation. It's very simple. Look at the four ways to win. And when we talk about leased land, you're not gonna win on any sort of passive appreciation or principal recapture because you don't own the land. So if the land goes up in value, you don't recognize any of those gains, the landlord does. So you want to make sure that the cash flow component is enough to provide the total return you want. So you simply look at the four ways to win, you add them up, you divide it by the total cash invested in that project, and you wanna make sure that you hit your return, whether it's 8%, 10%, 12%. Use the four ways to win, and that will help you decide if it's advisable to buy on leased land. Personally, I, I don't like investing in leased land um, for the reason that I like to own the dirt. I like to own the property and because I know the property is what becomes scarce and more scarce and more scarce every single year. Uh, trailer parks and mobile homes, same answer with the four ways to win. Calculate the four ways to win. Look at what the returns are um, and that will help guide your decision. If those returns are high enough, you consider purchasing and investing in that property.